Good day everyone, this is Tim and I hope you're doing well. And it's a little bit of a cloudy day here in Bali and it's starting to spit so hopefully the rain holds up for a little bit otherwise we can rest in there. And Bali is quite amazing, really enjoying the time here and uh, got a chance to not only eat uh, a lot of the uh, Balinese food and lots of food from Indonesia but also got to do a bit of activity as well, hiking up the mountain and catching the gorgeous sunrise and to top it off, uh, having a monkey to steal your breakfast was uh, quite the experience. So uh, I noticed that also the buffets here in Bali keeps getting better and better. I recently got a chance to visit the Mulia buffet. Uh, I think that's on Instagram, so I'll post a link there. But that, I believe, is Bali's largest buffet with a dozen or more stations from the traditional food to the international and all that wonderful baked lobster as well and uh, really grateful to get to try the biggest buffet in Bali and today I'm excited because I am here at the St. Regis uh, Resort and this is quite grand because earlier I got a tour with Aries around the property and uh, it is spectacular and large and with a property this big you definitely need a cart and the good news is at the end of the resort they have a buffet as well and uh, while this may not be the biggest I think this is Bali's finest because uh, the dishes you get the best of both worlds. Oh, I'm just gonna make my way here, thank you. So uh, a <laughs> little congested here, but uh, not only do they have buffet, but they have a selection of plated dishes that you can order over and over again. And uh, those are quite fine, uh, luxurious items as well. So I can't wait to check this out. Uh, so really grateful that you can join me. And also uh, it is starting to rain, so I better get the umbrella out much better and uh, nice to be sheltered from the rain and uh, really grateful that they provide umbrellas and uh, since it is raining I'm also really grateful uh, to Vessi for sponsoring this video. Vessi is a west coast company that makes amazing waterproof breathable sneakers that keeps you warm and dry when it's cold outside and keeps you cool and dry when it's hot and wet like it is right now. So uh, whether at home running errands or when traveling exploring Having a nice, waterproof, breathable pair of sneakers that are comfortable are a must. And they are certainly my go-to sneakers uh, at home or uh, like here when traveling. And uh, let me show you just how waterproof they are. And I see a body of water there. And this is a gorgeous area that kind of feeds out to the beach. And these are the Soho sneakers, very comfortable. And I'm very carefully watching my balance, fully submerged. and completely dry. So no more wet socks here and the umbrella serves not only to shelter from the rain but also as a way to balance. So uh, give them a try. Visit Vessi online and there you'll find many styles and colors to choose from. The ones I was wearing again were the Soho sneakers. Very comfortable, lots of cushioning and very stylish as well. And not only do they have amazing footwear but they have apparel as well from the overcast jacket that keeps you nice and dry and warm when it's cold and wet outside. And they have accessories. The Shoreline belt bag is my favorite for traveling. Keeps your valuables safe and secure and dry as well. So check online often for any new styles, offerings, or sales. And if you happen to miss one of their sales, Vessi was kind enough to offer a promotion. Visit Vessi online and use code Tim Lee to save 15% off your purchase. That's Vessi online and use code Tim Lee to save 15% off uh, your purchase and with that I think uh, the buffet is about to start and uh, the pay <laughs> the I can't even speak the buffet happens in two phases the first phase is cocktail and the second phase is the actual buffet and I think we're gonna start on the first phase I hope you're hungry or thirsty come on let's go and it's nice to get out of the rain and this is a beautiful reception area and I believe the buffet is back there and up in front is the wonderful uh, cocktail area. <laughs> a little sweaty and, and uh, hopefully we can dry off. Ah, come on, let's check it out. Oh, hi Naomi, this looks beautiful. Yeah. Ah, and I see this. May I have a table? Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Very good. Oh, thank you, Gary. So nice to get a table and to dry off. And uh, Gary was nice enough before even sitting down. 
we've got a signature cocktail of St. Regis. I think this is their version of the Bloody Mary. But before the drink, let me show you the room here. Really elegant ceilings and piano music. And right over there is a wonderful display of sparkling wine and champagne. What a nice start to the buffet. And I think we'll try the drink. Cheers. Mm. That is a wonderful Caesar. Reminds me of home in Vancouver, where this drink originated. Wonderfully prepared and just the right spice. And uh, we'll try the celery salt. Mm. It's gonna wash your eye. Very nice. So I think I'm just gonna enjoy and uh, we'll take you back for the main part of the buffet. And for now, I'll leave you with this gorgeous view of the cocktail area and the outdoor garden. But moments later, celebrations began. And hopping over to the lounge where they have a bigger table to try the myriad of drinks, they just keep coming from the orange to the green. Thank you so much. The servers just don't stop. And while I was struggling, the table next to me was setting a fantastic example. With a little bit more celebration and a little bit more sparkling wine, the hour went by quickly. All right, so it is time for the buffet. And if I look a little bit uh, weary, and that's because I am. And generally, I don't eat anything before going to a buffet. And uh, having an hour-long cocktail buffet was not such a good idea. And the servers and the hosts were way too accommodating. That drink there is a Pandan hangover. It is the cause of and solution to hangovers. And again, they just don't stop. But now, I think, uh, we need to kind of refresh ourselves for the buffet, and there it is. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, thank you. Well, I am uh, more alert now than ever. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh. Oh, this one here. Lilik, thank you so much. Wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So the first time for the brands? First time, yes, and it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh. Water, please. How about sparkling? Yeah, no alcohol. No more alcohol. Yeah, all right, thank you. So Lilik is so gracious and uh, she explained that again, this is the best of both worlds, the traditional buffet and a menu that you can order from. And luckily the drinks, there's no alcohol and uh, I can't wait. Uh, Lily is bringing a glass of sparkling water, much needed. But let me show you the room. It is just as beautiful. Beautiful open space, lovely gardens. And I think over there is a grill station outside. And to the right is the busy buffet station. But while we wait for the sparkling water, let me show you the menu. So this is unlimited, but from 12 to 3, and we have wonderful drinks. And the nice thing is there is no alcohol, although you can get an alcohol package. But look at the signature dishes. Because this is French, you get eggs, oh, Wagyu beef, duck liver, lobster as well, and uh, wonderful dishes as well. More lobster, and there's more. Next page, the wonderful desserts, along with the international buffet station. So really nice to see. And uh, I think you get some local dishes as well. And as simple as it is, I think I might go for the nasi goreng or the mi goreng. And oh, here comes Lilik. Oh, thank you, Lilik. Oh, will do. And this is much needed. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I can use a glass of water. And with that, let's go visit the buffet.
And this is amazing. On the right, there are performers. So really beautiful here. And further on the right, something I don't want to see at this moment because things are still spinning a little bit, but let's grab a plate. All right, so this is so elegant here. And uh, I know this isn't the biggest, but it certainly is the best. And I perused around and this is the cheese and bread station. And I know I tend to stay away from the bread, but uh, I can't resist. Look at this. I think I just need to go for a pandan Danish with almonds very carefully right over here. And I will just stick to that one bread item. And look at this, hardworking chefs there. But right here, these are Egg Nouvelle, new egg. Can't wait to give this a try. And moving on, look at these crispy fritters. So wonderful veggies right here and a little bit of an egg roll. Okay. And as much as I love the egg roll, I think I'm gonna pass on that because there is so many other good choices. And I think up there is the appetizer station. And look at this, little bits and bites. My favorite, starting off, we have some beautiful potato salad with a little bit of fish roe. And the good news is that that is the limits to their salad station. Ooh. A beautiful martini glass full of quinoa and ham and a wonderful egg as well. I think this is salmon roll with a little bit of eggs. We'll make some room. And there is more, a little bit of gazpacho to start the appetite. And then rounding the corner, let's see what we have. Oh, beautiful. So some uh, Vietnamese uh, spring roll yeah. and some oysters. Let's go for one of those. But maybe another just for backup. A little bit of mignonette. A little bit of fruit salad. Some salmon. So actually they do have some salad, but that's okay. It's very small portions and oh, some shrimp. A seafood salad. And what is this? This is a beetroot panna cotta dessert and veggies together. All right, so this is incredibly elegant. Let's see. So I know this is more for the mains, but I can't resist a little bit of the crispy pork and the crispy skin. One here and one more for good measure. Oh, Aisha. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. And look at this, they have caviar. Hi, Adi, how are you? Oh, can I get uh, some caviar? Okay. Oh, yes, please. Oh, thank you. A little bit of garnish. Ah, thank you, Adi. So I think we are in a bit of trouble. Uh, there is something more on the table. I think Chef was kind enough to give one of their signature dishes. This is avocado on toast, West Coast style with the salmon. So really kind of them. And uh, right across the room there, I see the Sticky Beaks from Australia, whom I got to meet at the cocktail bar. Really wonderful. And Kira celebrating her 50. Let's go say hi. <laughs> So it's pretty amazing here. Lots of people celebrating. Kira's 50, the style counselor, and we are with a whole bunch of sticky beaks. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers to Australia. And to the Commonwealth. Cheers. Mm. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. And uh, really grateful to to get to meet all these wonderful oh, people lovely. and thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thanks, really and and the drinks never stop. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, Patley. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> all right. So we better get back to the table. Wow. Sticky beaks. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. It is so nice to meet the wonderful people there. And uh, coming back to the table, there is more because they bring more food to you at your table. I think that is a beef stew and Chef is coming as well. 
Panko egg. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you, chef. Okay, this is incredibly gorgeous. That is a ragu of chicken with potato and a deep fried poached egg. Now, the scary thing is I haven't even started yet and uh, I'm actually not sure where to start, but let's go for the caviar first. And in order to get to the caviar, we have to shift over the champagne. What a wonderful thing to say. A little bit of lemon. Give this a try. Mm. All right. Absolutely luscious, beautiful blini, wonderful pops of caviar, and a gorgeous sauce. Mm. That's a two biter. And it's nice to start with the caviar, but I think the roasted pork doesn't wait. Gotta eat it while it is nice and warm and crispy. Double pork. Mm. That is shatteringly crisp. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I sure can. Absolutely perfectly prepared pork. Nice and luscious. Layers of fat and uh, so crispy. Mm. And crispy throughout. And as good as this avocado toast is, I think this can wait because Chef brought over this wonderful uh, dish here. A little bit of potatoes, a little bit of chicken ragu, and a deep fried poached egg. Can't wait to dig into this. Remove the garnish. And will we get a runny yolk? Yes, we will. Look at that. Oh, lovely. And I think we'll get a fork or a spoon. I think this is the finest buffet in Bali. Wonderful sauce with the mashed potatoes and now the egg yolk and that chicken ragu. And so crispy and luscious, perfectly poached egg. Mm. And a little messy. Was tempted there for a moment. Now look at this. This is a wonderful egg. I think this is egg nouveau. As they say, wonderful cream, some salmon roe. I wonder if there's anything in the bottom. Give this a try. Oh, it's much too pretty to dig into, but that's okay. No worries here. And let's see. A little bit of the cream and asparagus. Mm. So rich and creamy. And I think I'm going to dig into it with a knife. And if you empty it out, oh my goodness, there is something at the bottom. Oh, I think this is lobster. And I think that is an accurate guess. Oh, cheers. Oh. It is lobster. Luscious chunks of lobster, creamy avocado or asparagus mousse. Brilliant. Mm. Got to move this to the side for more dishes. Oh, oh, and here comes Chef. Chicken. Oh, chicken. Wow. Chicken medallion uh, with a mushroom. Uh, I'm sorry, put it. Oh. And with uh, spinach inside. Like a chicken Kiev. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Dharma. This is wonderful, thank you. So this is pretty amazing. I don't think I ever have to leave my seat. The food just keeps coming. Let's give the chicken Kiev a try. Oh, a little bit of cheese. Okay. Mushrooms, creamy sauce with a bed of potatoes. And I am making such a mess. Oh. Very good. Everything is very good. 
I think I gotta try the original dish. This is the beef stew with a little bit of potato and luscious beef and more beef. Mm. Oh. Get the beef stew. This is as simple as it sounds. Incredibly tender, incredibly delicious, and incredibly deep in flavors. Oh, so good. And Chef is coming again. Grilled prawn with tomato sauce. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Oh, will do. So it's really kind of Chef with so many dishes, and I think we gotta try the prawns. And a little bit of salad to cut the richness. There we go. Oh, that is wonderful. And as we're enjoying the food here, the sticky beaks are on to the next round. And I think I'll join them to Bali's Best Buffet. Mm. So I think I am gonna finish this round off uh, because there is still so many, many more dishes and with the buffet stations and the servers that come drop off dishes to you and the menu that you can order. This is uh, very substantial. So I'm gonna finish this off and we'll take you back. What I thought was a small first round was anything but with all the dishes coming. But without skipping a beat, I made sure to try the oyster while they were nice and fresh and they were shucked perfectly, beautifully briny and fresh. And for a little bit of contrast and texture, that wonderfully fried veggie fritter, beautifully crunchy. And that beetroot canna cotta, interesting, much sweeter than I thought. But to mellow it out, finally that avocado salmon toast, really delicious. And what makes it more delicious? A little bit of potato salad. Not realizing how high they pile up the avocado. It was tough to fit on, but very good. And finally the pandan almond danish, Really delicious, flaky, custardy, and crunchy from the almonds. And I think with that, let's go for round two. And uh, it doesn't feel like round two, it feels like a lot more. Let's go. It's always nice to pass by with the wonderful performers, really relaxing. And uh, let's grab a big plate this time. All right, so I am getting full and uh, I hope chefs, uh, don't put more on the table, but oh. so finally we get to the cautious. Beautiful salmon. Oh, that is so hot and being a sticky beak myself. Hi there. Hi team, I've got What's... some caviar and some... Oh. I don't, I don't... That looks wonderful. The ca all the crispy pork. The caviar. Oh. And the Just one. But you can go back for more Absolutely. and more and more. Like, wonderful. Let's touch base later. All right, we'll do. All right. <laughs> so, so wonderful, wonderful folks here, and uh, it's a lot harder to uh, describe what you're eating than uh, one may think. And let's see what this is. Okay, so some beautiful chicken medallions. And sorry if I steamed you up there. Oh, and it gets better. I can read the sign. This is a wonderful seafood gratin. Wow. Let's go. Let's go for one of these. And these are warm. Oh, and some beautiful lamb. Maybe just one. So I'm glad they give you a big plate and I'm glad the uh, dishes are individually plated so that they have uh, all the components composed and I'm hearing a happy birthday and the Sticky Beats there are celebrating. Happy so a really nice detour there and uh, Really nice for Akira to celebrate with great friends. And look at this. I think this is beef and pasta. And let's see. Oh, I heard this was really good. And Kira mentioned the Korean pork is delicious. And I can see why because of the fatty goodness. A little bit of rice. 
and the plate is almost getting full. Some wonderful fish. And as good as that looks, I think I have the salmon. And moving on, this is the chili crab. I hate to turn down chili crab, but it's too much work. And uh, there's so many other good things here. Let's see. So we have some dim sum on layer one and some gorgeous soups on layer two. Hi, chef. Hi. And this is something I might go for later, some chicken meatball soup. And normally I do go for the salmon and the sashimi and the sushi. But uh, I am getting so full here and there's so many other dishes. Let's see, sambal, some uh, green beans and sausages. And one thing I did miss is the wonderful ham. I remember the time in Spain, so maybe that on a nice piece of bread. And as much as I would love to have some, I think I will pass. Let's see what this is. Oh, beautiful pasta. And I don't think I can say no to some wonderful prime rib or some roast beef. Hi, Chef Yawan. Oh, you must be the most important person here. The beef looks wonderful. Can I get a little bit? Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh thank you so much. A little bit, yeah, thank you. Do you have any potato? Oh, beautiful potatoes. Thank you, chef. That looks wonderful. And I think this is it for the mains for now. All right, so the table is filling up. And remember when I uh, didn't get the ham? Well, I think chef has brought it for me here. And as good as it looks, I think the beef rump will have to take priority. And I think we need to dig into that right away. So, oh, wonderful fat here. Okay, and I know rump is maybe not a typical cut in North America, but this is so tender. Let's give it a try. Oh. It's as tender as a prime rib. You don't even have to chew it. Look how easily it cuts. Again, this is a butter knife and uh, it just pulls apart. And to get the perfect bite, a little bit of potatoes. Mm. Wow. That potato was so fresh and hot, freshly out of the oven, blistery skin, and a soft, custardy, and hot, painful, fluffy potato in the inside, but painful in the best possible way. And the beef rump is really good too. Mm. Just gotta be careful. And speaking of hot, I think the seafood gratin should be worth a try. Let's give this a switch around. All right, and these plates are getting heavy. I'm not sure if I'm just tired from the alcohol, but let's give the seafood gratin a try. Nice and broiled. Looking really nice and creamy. Mm. Oh. That is the creamiest sauces I've ever had. And that gratiné cheese, nice and strong, and sweet seafood, really nice. Mm. Gotta go for that salmon. And sometimes salmon and fish run the risk of getting a bit dry at the buffet. But while it looks dry on the outside, it cuts easily. And this is the belly. So a little bit more forgiving, a little bit of potatoes. Mm. Not dry at all. Wonderfully flaky, just on the verge, but still nice and moist. Oh. And I gotta try here a suggestion of the Korean beef. And uh, again, nice and fatty. And I think a lot of intense gochujang flavor, hopefully balanced with a better rice. Mm. 
That was a good suggestion. The beef or pork is nice and thin and tender and uh, intense flavors, but wonderful rice as a foundational canvas, really nice. Mm. So as good as this is, I think I got to try the sandwich and I am so glad that this is open faced. So half the amount. I think we need to do a little bit of a knife and fork. And they are generous with their mustard. Let's give this a try. Mm. The bread is a star, and so is the ham, and the cheese, and the rocket, and the mustard. But sometimes you just have to eat a sandwich with your hands. Mm. Nothing like fresh, crusty bread. A little bit messy and very good. So, I'm going to finish up all the food here from the buffet station. I know there's other ones that I didn't get to, but I think I'm going to pause for now because I did order a couple of things on the menu and uh, I'll take you back when it comes. And in fact, I think it's coming right now. Oh, oh wow. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Holy cow. Thank you, Romy. So this is, I guess, a Balinese uh, lobster omelet. And uh, I think I'm in trouble if they're all as big as they are. I ordered three, three different dishes, not three of the lobsters. And this is a lot of plate shuffling. Oh, and this is heavy. My goodness. And that is a true cast iron skillet. And look at this. I can't wait to give it a try. This is sizable. Okay, so this is a head of the lobster and a little bit of lobster meat. So let's go for a little bit here with a little bit of the omelette and the sauce. Oh. When they cook lobster to order, everything is cooked perfectly. The eggs are nice and fluffy. Lobster is cooked perfectly, springy, perfect texture. And it's that sauce, so flavorful. Mm. Oh no. I see Romy coming. Oh, Romy. Oh my God. Thank you so much again. What is... Oh, wow. Thank you. So that's looking like a wonderful Wagyu beef with some nice crunchy bits and the Wagyu steak. Let's dig in. And oh, Romy is here again. Oh, thank you, Romy. And there's no room on the plate, on the table. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, Romy. Okay, thank you. So which one to choose? Let's go for the Wagyu steak first. Okay, oh. And this is a Wagyu rum. So it should be nice and fatty and it is tender. A little bit of steak. And I think this is, I think, an egg souffle. Let's give this a try. Mm. Very nice. There is a bit of a chew to the Wagyu rump. Still very flavorful, but I think the roast rump is a lot tender, but not bad at all. And I think we got to try the duck liver. Just trying to make some room here. Let's cut into it. And there are two. There is a duck liver mousse on a waffle and a duck liver. I think this is on some uh, apple compote and a wonderful duck fat there. Let's give that a try. There we go. Perfect combination. Wonderfully seared, nice and fatty, and a, a nice sweet tartness of the apples. Oh. And item number two, 
with the waffle and the mousse. Oh, mmm. This is wonderful. And there's a little bit of a surprise. This is not just a waffle. It is a waffle sandwich, waffle cut in half with some wonderful tart berry jam and that wonderful duck liver mousse. Mm. Such a big bite. So I'm just gonna nibble my way through to finish this round. And I can't wait to take you back for dessert, but a little bit of a drink. Maybe the water. I think I've reached the alcohol limit for today. Mm. So there was so much food and uh, I think I overdid it with the menu items, but I actually found out there was a barbecue station and as much as I wanted to try, I had to restrain maybe next time. But now I think it is time for dessert and I'm just looking for a plate here. All right, so a beautiful dessert station. Ooh. This ginormous chocolate fountain is calling to me, but I will need to restrain for some of the other mini sweet treats, starting with the mango coconut panna cotta. And I think this is a pandan apricot cake. A little big, but that's okay. So wonderful panettone and some fruits at the bottom. So one of my favorite cakes, a baba, but not only a, any baba, this is a rum baba, nice and soaked through with a little bit of chantilly. There we go. Off to the side, stable. Oh, and look at this, some black currant yogurt. And then this is a lavender velvet. So I got to be careful with this. Sometimes for me, lavender tastes like soap, but we'll give it a try. And a little bit of a chocolate dessert. This is called a Pear Belle Helen, I think. Helen, Helen. Let's give this a try. And one more spot here. And I think this is it. All right, so you would be proud of me because I restrained myself I saw there was an ice cream station, but uh, a little bit of restraint, and uh, this is what I have. So I can't wait to dig in. I gotta try that rum baba. Oh. This is a, already a good start. This is so light and soaked with the rum syrup and a little bit of cream and fruit for freshness. Mm. So nice. And although this is much too pretty to break into, I think we will try the uh, pandan cake but we're gonna have the trio first, or more appropriately, a twill. Cheers. Oh, very close. Stick into the cake. Okay. And it just cuts in beautifully. Oh, that is just a gorgeous pandan mousse. So light, layers of cake, very floral. And I remember earlier I had the pandan uh, hangover, that cocktail. This is the same thing, but opposite. Mm. This is so light and luscious, but creamy and rich at the same time. And I think a cup of coffee is needed and I see it coming. Oh, Romy, thank you so much again. Oh. Perfect timing. Mm. So good. And I think we got to try the lavender cake. And this is the lavender cake in mousse form. A little bit of hockey. And here we go. Mm. Very nice. And there was a risk of this tasting like soap. And I'm glad to say it tastes like nothing of the kind. Very delicious. Mm. And finally, the mango coconut panna cotta. Let's give this a try. 
Oh. Very light, just melts in the mouth, luscious, and very tropical. So this is St. Regis, and this is the uh, restaurant here called uh, Boneca. And uh, they only have this on Sundays, and uh, it is certainly a treat. Fantastic luxury dishes from the caviar to the lobster to the Wagyu beef and the duck liver. And of course, that wonderful cocktail hour at the beginning, which you really need to be cautious for. So thank you so much for joining. Uh, lots of good food, lots of new friends that are enjoying a couple of drinks. So again, really grateful that you can join. And until we see each other again, uh, I hope you're keeping well, I hope you're eating well, and I hope you're traveling well. And with that, I think we need to finish off the bubbly. Here's to wishing you and yours all the best. God bless. Cheers. Mm. Oh, round three. Dessert. I'm eyes balls. Did you say that? The video didn't see that, but no. <laughs> so it is such a joy to meet all the wonderful people and what she was referring to there was uh, someone had an incident with those steps and gravity. Oh.